hello guys welcome back to the channel and oof right now it's really cold today is supposed to be the only best day to really do this and tonight actually it's supposed to actually snow throughout the end of the week For today's video i'll be actually installing this window visors that i got from modern japan they actually hooked it up with a price i'm not going to mention how much they actually gave it to me for but anyways i just want to give a big shout out to them these window visors are actually oem so they're not no aftermarket visors so again has the lexus box right there and th this is actually the part number so as you can see it fits all is models 2014 and up so as you can see the difference this right here has the chrome delete so i pretty much wrapped it in gloss black around the chrome edge and this right here is how it came which is the chrome being exposed so again i'm not a big fan of having like chrome so that's the reason why i did the gloss black wrap around it so kind of like to like flow with what i have right now as well so the whole chrome piece of my doors is actually wrapped in gloss black these window visors have like a sleek design so by that if you look like from the this angle it's like like just straight so most window visors actually like go from here and it has like a bulk around here the whole fact that this piece is actually oem just makes it like you know the quality of this product is like a lot more better versus like buying it like an aftermarket window visors just because the plastic is a lot more sturdier and this will definitely fit like the around the window trim like perfectly so it's actually made for the car so there's no like you know i guess like uneven fitment around the edges of the window trim so i'm gonna go ahead and mock it out for you guys to see it's how kind of like it sits and it's really flush so there's no again like no bulkiness around it, that area it's just like a nice flush slim look i really can't wait how it's gonna look like once i'm done installing all four visors to the doors so the next thing i'm gonna do is just do the chrome delete on this right here and then just pretty much do also the front sides as well so it's actually kind of like drizzling right now so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up before the whole snowstorm comes up all right quick update so it is actually snowing right now so there's actually like a couple of like fat snowflakes just coming down so i'm not sure you guys can see that but anyways that's, that shouldn't be a big deal this is just like a really easy install but i already have the chrome delete already done for all the four visors so as you can see this is for the front side So chrome delete all around the other side and then the other two for the rears. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install this. So again, there's like 3M tape right here that you have to remove that white piece. Same thing on the front. And then you just have to like pretty much like kind of like adjust the clips where this one is. There's actually two clips for each visor. So there's one here and then the other on the front side of it. So once you have that on the trim of the window, you pretty much just have to just remove the 3M tape and that's pretty much it. This should be held really strongly with 3M tape and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rear driver's side. So there's two tapes right here that you have to kind of like remove. Just remove that and then just remove this as well. And then once you have that out, you just have to remove this as well. And that's it. There's like just three that you have to remove and then just the clips right here. Just kind of like have it at an angle like this before actually applying pressure for the three and tape to stick. So that's good there. And then same thing with this other side. And that's good there. And then once you have it at that clip inserted to the trim, now you can just apply pressure to it. Now that I have this side done, just go ahead and close it. And there we go. Has some like a... That's like a nice and flush look. I'm really excited how it's gonna look once everything is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front side, driver's side. The front visors are pretty much identical to the rears. So again, just remove the white 3 and tape. Same thing from this side. And there's gonna be like another extra one for the front. And then this for the rear. So again, this has like clips as well. So you just have to like align it first. So for this, all the way in the front and the back as well. So there's only two clips. There you go. The driver's side is now complete. So again, has that nice sleek look. So I really like this design of the visors. There's no lump to it. It's just like a nice clean look. I'm gonna show you guys from the front side. that's how it looks so it's like really unnoticeable so this is actually exactly made for the car so see how like it has like a guard connecting to the this little fin right here 
for the door side. Now that I'm done with the driver's side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side. Passenger is done. I went ahead and installed the rear and front visors and that's pretty much it. Looks pretty clean, nice and flush. And again, this is the view from the side. Really hard to tell if it's there just cause it's like really slim. Like a really sleek design again. Kinda sucks that it's kinda like rainy now. So couldn't really record myself doing the passenger side just cause it's getting really cold. So I kinda had to like rush this, the passenger side. But again, it's just like really easy. At least it wasn't like hard or nothing at all. So it's just three on tape and then just clipping it there. But I think the only hard part was just like, just doing the chrome delete on the chrome trim. And that's pretty much it. But that was no big deal because I was able to do that inside. I'm gonna go out for a drive and see if it makes any noise or any sort of like weird noise that I've never heard before from the windows. So I don't think it should make any noise just because of the design. It's just like the air should just like flow through it. But let's see, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I go out for a drive, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick walk around just to show you guys more views. All right, enough of that. My, my hands can barely hold this tripod. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out for a drive now. <laughs> While I entered my car, I did actually notice one little cool gadget right here. On the visors, since these are OEM visors, it does have like a Lexus logo right here. So it's kind of like a transparent logo. But again, this is pretty cool. Just to know that it, it is actually like an OEM visor. Let me see if I can wipe it down for you guys. There you go. The lighting. Oh. You can kind of see it, but it's there. All right, so I'm pretty much just cruising anywhere at this moment. Just took the highway just cause, but I'm at like 50, 52 ish miles per hour. And I'm not really hearing any unusual sound from the windows. So that's a good sign. like 70 miles per hour so still no sound or unusual sound so yeah I mean if you guys are really interested in buying these OEM visors go ahead and cop because I really recommend it and I really like them myself even though I'm not a big fan of like window visors so I give this a really big thumbs up just because it's quality and it comes straight from Lexus one thing about these visors is that I had a hard time actually like trying to purchase it only because I'm not sure if Lexus actually discontinued it but when I try to like ask a dealership if they had it in stock, they just straightly just told me that they cannot order it. So I was just like, oh. I'm not sure why these visors were actually hard to find, but luckily I was able to find it from Modern Japan. And again, I'll go ahead and leave the link to the description box below and also with the part number. So if you guys somehow find it from a dealership, you know, it's best to buy it from there or get it from Modern Japan. Really hope you guys enjoy the whole installation of the window visors and kind of sucks that I had to do it like in this type of weather only because I don't have a garage and this is the only time that it's gonna be like the best day because the rest of the week is just gonna be like really terrible <laughs> but I really can't wait once the weather starts getting a lot more warmer during the springtime and all that so I can do a lot more videos but anyways don't forget to like comment subscribe peace